I'd like to cover Paul Wood's notion of the curriculum continuum in this video because I think it helps you understand the, the range of different structures that schools use. It's really important that you understand the structure that uh, you're using um, and there are software implications for all of this as well. So on the left of the continuum is a primary school, school type model where the kids are divided up into core groups. So in this case, we've got a 7A, 7B, 7C and 7D. So we've got four groups of probably 25 kids. And those kids stay together, in this case, for their English and science. So um, these English and science classes and their teachers are independent from the other classes. They could run at the same time or they could run at separate times. That's the key point. On the other end of the continuum is uh, what I call the fully blocked or the fully lined style of curriculum and that's where um, subjects run at the same time in a column or a line usually for the purpose of a kids elective so kids offering in senior school will pick subjects that they want to do and then the timetable will have to come up with a configuration of which subjects can run at the time to maximize the students getting their choices I deal with that idea in the elective line construction a little bit later on or schools use this structure to ability group so you might run all your maths classes at the same time and that therefore means you can change the groups within these classes um, often schools will do uh, you know have a, an advanced maths group and then kids that struggle a little, a little bit are perhaps in a smaller class and they can get more teacher help that sort of thing then in between we've got a whole range of hybrid structures that I, I won't go through all of them today but just to give you some idea um, a structure called a, a band or a rota or a circa is where these hundred kids are further divided up into five groups. The groups are smaller, usually of 20 kids, and they do their practical classes. But the key thing is, is that um, the group of 20 kids that do, for example, air wood, those same, same kids would later in the week do PE. So once again, these subjects are independent from these ones. They could run at the same time or they could run at different times depending on your purpose. Then we have more hybrid structures, um, something like dividing the year level up into two groups and they used to call it an upper group and a lower group. Uh, some schools call it 7.1 and 7.2 and with e within each of those divisions, um, so there might be 75 kids in 7.1 and we're running three classes and those those kids can be in any one of those English classes but then when science runs it's for the same 75 students whereas down here we might have 50 students um, these 50 students never cross over and do subjects from the other division so that's what I'd call a, a half blocked now as a general rule um, this style of curriculum is used when the curriculum prescribed so the, the kids have to do an English, the kids have to do science, they have to do maths, probably humanities or history, probably PE and health. Whereas this style of curriculum is more uh, designed for kids making choices which tends to happen in senior years. Do they want to do more maths and science or do they want to do more arts? So those sorts of things. Thank you.